Hey, welcome back. So if you hadn't guessed, I am running late for class. We had a film shoot last night. We've had three film shoots this week. I'm super excited because I got a lot of exciting things planned for today. And I'm so happy to take you along on the journey with me. I'm gonna get ready and then I'll see you in a second. Y'all, I can't even show you my outfit yet because I'm running so late to class. That's so my bad. I really thought I was gonna be on time today. Also, look at my witch hat. Happy Halloween. So I finished my class. I actually got there like on time, like one minute over, which is incredible. I've never walked that fast in my life. It was good. I have some work to do. I'm about to go to my actual job to do my homework and everything. So it's really exciting. And look at my outfit. Like this is so Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. This is awesome. So to be honest, kind of forgot I was vlogging for a second. But Michael and I are taking equipment back to my car and then we're gonna get my car, put more equipment in it, and then take that equipment back to the equipment room. So much equipment. And we drop off that equipment in the equipment room. Yes, we are dropping off the equipment in the equipment room. This is all correct information. We have to put stuff in the car to take it to a different place to take it out of the car and get it to a different place for them to put into a room. And then we're gonna get back in the car and then take that car to a different place again. And then we're gonna get out of the car and then walk to a different place. And then maybe we'll sit down. Maybe. That's debatable. Guys, what's happening? It's a pity party limo. He's wonderful. Oh, I like how he looks like he's driving. Oh, and now he looks at us. Ah! You do everything for attention, don't you? Man, wait, what the heck did that supposed to mean? Says the girl vlogging her makeup. It is <laughs> You do everything for attention. Anyway, guys! I got this new makeup thing. I thought you would like it. It's worthless. I got it at Target. It's worthless? Quoted by the Haley Weber. No, I said it was a waste of money. So the thing that we were just talking about is the NYX, 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 Professional Makeup Shine Loud Life Goals Gloss and Lip Color. I mostly got this because I was confused on what it was. And this, this is why I say it's a waste of money. This has the color on one end, the gloss on the other. And usually when I see a brush like this with the gloss on it, I'm like, okay, this isn't gonna end well and it's gonna be like paste. We're doing this. Sorry you're so close to me. We're gonna try the gloss. It actually feels quite nice going on. I like the shine of it a lot. It like feels almost like an ointment, like a, a gel, like a triple antibiotic gel. I'm trying to see like how fast it'll come off kinda. I feel like the shine pretty much kept even with doing this, the bite test. I'll take it. It does have a bit of a taste to it, but it doesn't taste bad, word. Let's try the color now. It goes on super smooth, like almost too smooth to the point where I keep messing up. This is a nice color, I think. It is a little sticky. It almost feels like I put nail polish on my lips and it is definitely drying them out. It looks nice. It feels like a clay mask that I put on my lips and then whenever I move them, like it's like breaking, like cracking. And not in a painful way, but just in a way where I'm like, there's something on my lips. It doesn't feel effortless, it feels very heavy. And it has like a little bit of a taste. We have the Maybelline New York Lifter Gloss. It has hyaluronic acid in it. This is shade Silk. I quite like this one. It's really, really smooth. It's not sticky, and it has like silver glitter in it. I don't know if you can see that, but I think it's really nice. I like this a lot. This smells so good. 
it is a gloss so it's going to come off if I bite on something but I feel like for the most part the color stayed it feels like chapstick on my lips this is how much of the color came off when I wipe my lips and then we have the elf glow reviver lip oil this is in color rose envy I love that okay ready It smells minty. It has apricot oil. It's not sticky. It's a gorgeous color, I think. It's very natural, it's kind of pinkish. I like the shine that it gives me. Let's do a bite test. So obviously, bite test. Oh, that's adorable. Look at the color that it is. It does feel really nourishing, I will say. The other ones felt like I kind of stripped my lips. The lifter gloss did not feel like that. It was really just this one that felt like I stripped my lips afterwards. It is definitely stickier than this one. My lips feel so minty. It has like that minty, like Burt's Bees kind of vibe. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and get ready for the night and everything, we're going out. So now that I did all that and I washed my face and I'm gonna let my skin settle for a little bit, we're gonna curl my hair. Hello and welcome to Michael and Haley's podcast time. Hooray! Ooh. What's your hot take on Halloween? I have one. But well, we were talking about this earlier, but we were saying that when you go trick or treating, the houses that have the fire pits in their driveways, it's only fun for the people who are actually having the fire pit in the driveway. And if you're walking up to it, it's super awkward and one of the worst things ever. I think my hot take is that Halloween should only be silly and sexy. Oh, like rather than scary? Yeah, no scary. All of my have to do with trick or treating. If you're going to be handing out candy on Halloween, you have to have something that is not chocolate so that people who are allergic to dairy or nuts or something have something to eat. It always sucked on Halloween going to houses where they were only handing out like Hershey's bars or like Reese's and stuff like that and not being able to eat anything. It always sucked because I'd be like, well, I can't get anything. There's, there was no point in me even going. When do you think it's too old for trick or treating? High school. What? Age in high school though. High school. Like freshman year. Yeah. I don't think you should be trying to get a girlfriend while you're trying to get the treats. What if you're just trying to get tricked? I don't know. You think that the second you start trying to get a girlfriend, you should be done? No, I think it's high school, but I'm just saying, like, that's when you should start having a party. Did you go to a Halloween party in high school? No, I wasn't invited to any parties. I wasn't school. either. If you have a crew, then go with it, but, like, if you are- I did go to a Halloween party! That's cool. Too. My sophomore year. I think I stopped trick or treating in eighth grade. That is the thing. Adults would always be really mean to the older kids. Not even older kids, just people who looked older. I'm like, you don't know how old anyone is, or like they're like, mess like why be rude? If, if I think if somebody puts effort in to a costume, you should give them candy regardless of their age. Yeah. He's addicted to his phone. Addicted to the phone. All right, I'm gonna finish getting ready and I'll see you in a little bit. So my hair and makeup's done. It's in a ponytail. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but it's what's happening. I'm a secret agent. Damn, she looked good and so respectable. No, stop. Hey guys, Michael. <laughs> We're in line at the Gap. We are, we haven't been waiting for that long, honestly. We're moving pretty quickly, so that's exciting. We have doubled down on our fact that Halloween should be sexy and silly and not scary, because some people are scary and it's- I like scary. It, We've doubled down on the fact that people said <laughs> that is all. Goodbye. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. Fun to stay at the YMCA. Well, that was fun. I am getting ready and then I have to run to class. There's people like doing construction work out on my roof this morning and by out of my roof i mean the roof of the building next door which means that they're like right outside my window it's like quiet but they keep dropping things randomly i don't know i didn't like it i like how the one day i'm not what, rushing to class is the day that i was out until 2 a.m the night before i went to bed at 3. this because i wanted to live in the moment or whatever but michael made a picnic indoors because it's really windy outside and it was really good he made like three different types of sandwiches desserts and all that and we had a good time and then because we're going tailgating tomorrow we went real quick and bought some penn state gear because i don't have anything that is appropriate for the tailgate we're going to i'm going to that right like for sure i don't know he it's right now it's a yes and we're just trying to guarantee the yes
Now I'm going to my internship and I'll see you when we get ready for our costumes because we have to alter our costumes a little bit still and I need to get on that. Bye. Okay, so we finished getting ready and everything. Michael's a race car. Vroom, vroom. And I'm a race car driver and our costumes are almost 100% handmade. We're very talented people, but we're very late to the party and everything. I'm trying to walk without looking and looking into a bright light. I'll probably end up seeing you guys tomorrow because I'm busy tonight. Happy Halloween. I'm going to the tailgates now. Last Penn State game for Haley Weber. This is the fit. This is the shirt I got yesterday, the sweatshirt. And then this is the shirt I got yesterday. The makeup, let me show you what, hold, oh wait, actually. I like it a lot, it's blue. Right now I'm just waiting for the brownies to finish baking and they're stressing me out because I already took them out earlier and they were way undercooked and I went, I feel like it's fine. I like them like this, but then I went, other people are gonna eat these, this is gross. I can't wait to go see Michael. He's already there. Rawr, rawr, rawr. I'm here Look at the at 20 minutes difference. We're at the game now. We're sitting outside the stadium. Just kind of chilling, having a good time. Michael, say hi. Hi. I look cute. I'm having a great time. We have Oreos. We are. All right, so we left the tailgating and everything because we were bored. And we ended up getting a bunch of food. I'm gonna show you the spread. Michael. Hi. Do something interesting. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. I'm sitting here editing the video now, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this four day excursion of my college life. I hope that you really enjoyed and I hope that you had an awesome Halloween. Stay tuned for next week. We got big things coming up.